Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 10. All right, um the previous episode it was definitely really interesting to see how Bakugo has changed and oh my god he has in a significant manner and I love it, you know? Like it was so great to see how he himself decided to cooperate this is bakugo you're talking about you know like it had been, like in season one it would have been impossible to even imagine him cooperating but he himself said that okay like i have a plan i'll go forward and if they attack you i'll save you if they attack me you save me simple plan and they did it and a little bit of like you know uh what can i say um, like the other team uh, kind of overlooked that fact that they thought that okay like Bakugo this is Bakugo we are talking about we saw how Bakugo acted in the tournament so yeah he'll probably you know go straight ahead and will kind of like isolate him capture him and then deal with the others that was their plan most probably unfortunately that did not happen because because of that like you know preconceived notion they lost and Bakugo competed it so quickly you know it, like the whole match was wrapped up in a matter of minutes so that was a really impressive battle and we could see how bakugo himself is like you know trying to change and trying to like you know uh, put aside his own superiority complex and is like you know deciding to yeah like you know take the good things from like you know uh, the, uh, from everything you know like learn the good things and keep his pride aside and cooperate with others like that's how like you know a hero works like bakugo is a hero he's not <laughs> like you know heroes <laughs> should probably not like you know act like the way he acted before so yeah it's good it's really nice and he has a nice little like you know like rivalry with ba uh, deku as well which is also quite healthy it will help both of them to move forward so, uh, like unlike the previous case when like you know the rivalry was extremely toxic like that would harm them but this is a good kind of rivalry and yeah, and now we're going to see how, like, you know, we're going to see the fight between Deku and, you know, the Team B. So let's see. Let's see how Deku uses his, like, you know, his uh, intellect and his strategy to, I don't know. If, I'm not sure even if they will win or lose, but let's see. My bet is on Deku is going to win. Let's see. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 10 of My Hero Academia Season 5. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1. <clears> hmm, <throat> <clears throat> yeah. Centered around. I really liked uh, Tokage's quirk. It was really unique, you know, like separating your body into pieces. Yes. Okay, let's see what this team can do. You know, the team is like the Deku's, like you know, the team that Deku has. It's very unique. It is very specific, you know, like their uh, the strengths like it's what can I say? Like it would be quite difficult to use them, you know, use their power properly. The what can I say? The um, the decision making that Deku is going to take is probably going to completely like dictate how this match actually goes like you know if he is able to use them well use their powers well as a leader they'll definitely win let's see my bet is on Deku's team you know like I think they're going to win. I don't know. Let's see if I'm correct or not. <laughs> I was wrong before, you know, when I said that Todoroki's team is going to win <laughs> and they made a uh, like, you know, a tie. Like that was a miscalculation.
All right, let's see. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is, oh my God. All for one. One murder maxim. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, so they're even dangerous. They're more dangerous than. Oh my God, this guy. Ha. Oh, he's also remembering stuff. Oh, damn. <laughs> All for one is like really, you know. <laughs> His ringtone is amazing. Oh, Grand Torino. Okay. Oh. Old man's man. Okay. Okay, so she, yeah, she also had the same experience. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Still not the time. Yeah. Okay, some kind of, uh, yeah, I'm guessing, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, but let's see. Oh my God. Okay. Why? But his power is very unique. Like. Like his power is very like powerful specifically, you know, like. <laughs> wow, always works. Mm. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, he's using, okay, that's good, you know? Oh, okay, damn, what is, okay, whoa. What the? Oh, he got, 
Wait a minute. What what's that in his hand? Oh. He's trying to make him talk, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, this is... <laughs> He's egging him. Yeah. Oh! Phantom Thief! That's a cool name. <laughs> Five minutes, okay. Okay. So he has not copied uh, Shinso's quirk. Okay, then. That's good to know. What are they doing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh no! Oh, so he has this kind of scouter thing which... Oh! Emily! Okay, it's so more like telekinesis, isn't it? Okay. Oh, she can rule. Oh, size, okay. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. What's his power? I... Is it like a scout? Yeah, I think so. Twin impact. Oh my god. Okay, his his quirk is a bit confusing. Okay. Okay, don't talk. Like... <laughs> Monoa is really perfect for this job. Like, you know, annoying people and, you know... <laughs> He's perfect for the role of making Deku slip up. Oh my god. Wow. Great. Okay, don't talk, Deku. What? Wait, wait, what? What's happening? Oh my god, what is happening? It's going out of control or something, I don't know. Oh no. Okay. This is... Oh no, this is bad. What is this? Damn.
Oh my god. The time has not come means. Okay, whoa. Okay, I never expected something like this happening, you know. Like, this was the last thing on my mind. What? Uh... Oh god. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, Aiza is the best for this job. Oh, well, what the? Oh, God. Yeah, everyone was so happy, you know. Oh my god. Oh wow. How, how do you even stop this? Like, you know, I think only Aizawa can. Yes, yeah, Shinzo can hypnotize him. Come on. Oh god. Yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, answer, Midoriya. There you go. Oh, it, it freezed. Damn. Okay, it, it's slowly getting in. All right. Oh my God. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's inside. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, he can pro Yeah, he has a form now. Wow. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah so something like this is going to happen to deku as well later on i'm guessing or maybe if he's the last one then that won't happen obviously whoa he Okay. Okay, that's why this kind of web thing came out. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Black whip. Okay, so So he can use all of these quirks! Different! Okay. Oh. Controlling our heart. Okay, that's why it went so berserk, you know <laughs> Control it carefully wow Extremely strong true very true This went From one to hundred like so Deku has so many powers inside him that means wow I was not expecting this this is like oh my god <laughs> uh, uh, nice okay <laughs> okay well let's go let's start again <laughs> oh oh my god it started as soon as it okay not a moment of respite Okay, where are the other, other, other people? Okay, there you are. Okay, let's. <laughs> it's a full-on brawl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, calm your heart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, it's okay now, I think so. Keep an eye on, uh, yeah, keep an eye out on them, but that's. Yeah. Okay. Like, thank God it did not get cancelled or something, you know, or like Deku lost, like, you know, Deku's team lost because of that. Like, I was thinking something like that was going to happen, like, you know, they were going to say, like, you know, like, Deku has lost or something, like, disqualify him or something. But thank God, nothing like that sort happened, like, you know, it was like a temporary little, you know, a bug, a glitch that came in the system. But then everything's okay now, like, you know, everything's going to work fine after this. Oh, my God. Wow, this episode. Um, so now I'll be truthful here. I never thought something like this could happen. To, like you know, the only thing I had in my mind is like, 
Oh, Deku is like, you know, has all, for, uh, all Might's power, which is like super strength. You know, the super strength, like 100%, uh, 50%, the amount of strength he can control and all. And he can use it, use that power to, in a lot of ways, you know, use it in, in as a ranged attack and like, you know, hand to hand combat, all of that. Whoa, this episode was a complete surprise. It now, like, you know, now that means like Deku has that power. Additional to that, he has all the powers of the other, his, you know, his predecessors. So, that is something. So, as NC guy said in his, like, you know, in his um, inner, uh, what do you call that? Inner, mem inner mind? Yeah. He said that, thank God, my quirk was activated. You know? Okay. That's the end. He said that, thank God, my quirk was activated. You know what that means? That means there might be some other quirks inside him which are extremely dangerous. You know, which like, you know, which are, will be so powerful that it can probably like blow the whole place out or do something very like, you know, powerful. So like, as he said, like, thank God my quirk, which is like, you know, like his quirk is something that he can use to, you know, restrain criminals or like, you know, fight, like, you know, like use it for fighting. It's, it's more like um, Seto's tape or Aizawa's like, you know, the bandage that he uses, like something like that. It's something like that. Uh, but like that in itself was so destructive it completely wrecked the whole place and probably would have like knocked each and every like you know each and every uh, student there if it was not stopped in time that power you know that power whose main in, like you know which, whose main use is not for something like offensive that power in itself became so strong that means imagine what's going to happen if a uh, quirk which is supposed to be used offensively, you know, which is which main purpose is to fight that type of quirk. Imagine how much strong that would have been if that like, you know, that like certain quirk got uh, unleashed in this episode. Like it would have been a disaster. And I'm guessing like if like, you know, if Deku is able to control all of this power properly, he can probably use it in a similar manner you know the, the amount of power that we saw in this episode he can use the same amount of power but it will be more controllable you know like it won't get this kind of like you know out of hand or like you know it won't get berserk like this he can control it he can direct it the way he likes it to so like i'm not sure probably something like that he's going to try in the next episode as you know he was kind of thinking in the end that like uh, the thing that uh, the predecessor said that like calm your you know calm your mind and use it like you know with a calm and peaceful mind and he was thinking something like that in the end so i'm guessing in the next episode we're going to see him trying to control that work so yeah wow this was something like you know i was not expecting like like <laughs> like you know like deku square going like this kind of like out of control i was never i never expected that you know, like deku quirk was so what can i say uh like it's, it's it's such a quirk that you can never think about it being out of control i don't know why but i had this kind of a thing in my mind where i never thought that it will get out of control but so that's why I was really surprised in this episode, like when suddenly, like I was thinking like when, uh, you know, when Deku was kind of concerned about like uh, the whole, his work and he was like, you know, when the uh, match started, he was thinking that, okay, like what's going to happen? Like, is everything going to be fine? Am I be able to use my work properly? At that moment, I was thinking like, okay, like I think like at that moment, I was thinking like, you know, like this, that. Uh, okay, I think like Deku is probably thinking about this too much, you know, like what's going to happen? Like it's just that he kind of saw hit the predecessors in his, uh, you know, in his dream and Like, you know, like uh, that's probably the, the extent that it, this will go. Nothing much will happen That was my thought process at that moment and when it work went berserk. I was like, wow Okay, I was not expecting that and yeah, that was a real surprise. I really did not see that coming <laughs> like like i could have never imagined deku square going out of control bakugo square going out of control yeah i can kind of imagine but deku square no i don't know why like i never would have thought i'm guessing it it kind of like you know it's because of deku's personality you know he's so calm he's so what can i say um 
you know, like cool headed and everything that the fact that his quirk can also go out of control. I never thought about it. <laughs> it's probably that, you know, like he, he, he's so calm headed. He's so cool that that never crossed my mind that, yeah, something like that, this might happen, but it did. And he needs to like, you know, keep it like <laughs> basically what actually happened here is Monoma pissed him off. <laughs> so, so his quirk went out of control. Oh my God. Wow. Ugh. Like, <laughs> all right, let's talk about this episode. So the strategy in this episode, first of all, the first thing that uh, they did is like the other, uh, you know, the other um, students of class B, they were going towards the other, uh, you know, the, like the other characters instead of Deku and Monoma, like I'm guessing Monoma's plan and Monoma's uh, strategy was to piss Deku off, you know, that was his strategy and he's quite good at that. So, <laughs> and I'm guessing when Deku, like, like, you know, his plan was something, probably something like this, like when Deku would have went out, like, you know, would have got ang gotten angry and talked or something, somehow Shinzo was going to use that to an advantage. You know and probably try to brainwash him using that opportunity or something like this was probably going to happen like that was the main thing that because like Shinzo was like you know kind of hiding like that was his main goal like Monoma was acting as kind of like a decoy and at the same time as like an attacker Deku was also acting as a decoy and as, as an attacker so those two were clashing Shinzo was in like you know in hiding because he was looking for the correct opportunity to go and brainwash Deku and the other characters they were involved in keeping the you know uh keeping um <clears throat> ashido uraraka mineta them busy so yeah that was what's actually happening it was a good plan you know and <laughs> it's really intelligent for to use monoma against deku because oh my god monoma is very good at making others annoyed <laughs> and he almost like you know succeeded he succeeded like in a, in a way because they were kind of got mad in the end when like you know the whole like he brought bakugo into the whole like you know conversation like that was the thing that kind of pissed him off because obviously like deku knows bakugo the most so if someone <laughs> trash talks him like obviously that's going to piss him off like you know so yeah it was bakugo's thing wasn't it that uh, pissed him off in the end let's see like, i think yeah that was something that just a sec Okay, here it is. Yeah. Mm. Just a sec. Oh god. <coughs> okay, um here it is. Uh Shinso, uh, I talked uh, uh Monoma is talking. I talked to Shinso earlier um about how those who have been blessed destroy the world. You're his friend. Then tell me. How can Bakugo smile so un concernedly oh my god he was caught by a villain and he was responsible for ending the symbol of peace oh, okay yeah that would probably piss anyone off if they knew what was actually happening so <laughs> that was a really like you know um like the provocation that he used he like Obviously, Deku's going to get pissed at that because Monoma is saying that, oh, like, I, I don't know how Baku can laugh so unconcerned and uh, unconcerned without any concern. <laughs> and, like, you know, um, because he was the one who, like, you know, ended the symbol of peace. He was at fault. So why can he laugh so much? Oh, my God. Like, we know and Deku know that that's not the case. Like Bakugo, I think, was the most concerned about the fact, you know, he himself, he blamed himself. It was in season 3, I think, or was it season 4? I think it was season 3, uh, in the end. Like, when, like, Bakugo, like, you know, we get to know that ba Bakugo actually was really, uh, like, feeling down because he thought that he was the reason why, like, you know, uh, All Might lost his power. Like, him getting uh, captured by the villains. Now... And that's like Monoma is bringing that and saying that how can he laugh so much? Okay, that yeah, that that's that's a very uh, nasty provocation. Yeah, and obviously like he, 
yeah that pills take you off like uh that's quite normal i'm guessing yeah that that really pissed him off i can like uh, now i can see you know that there's this red glow that happened and after that the quirk went out of control okay wow and uh, all right and um okay one another thing that i like they were talking about the time not being right like narashimura saying that uh, the vestiges told me the time is not right so i'm guessing nothing that sort happened to nana shimura or the other like you know predecessors you know like all of these quirks suddenly activating like so mainly this happened like the time was not right still now i'm guessing in deku's time the time is going to be correct now like you know the time has probably come that all the other like you know the the predecessors the quirks that they had they are going to get activated one by one and they could, would probably be able to like you know if he is able to train properly he'll be he'll be able to control them now um like so that was what they meant by the time not being correct because yeah like this this thing that's happening here the quirks are activating the six of the seven quirks that are inside Deku. This never happened to any other predecessors. This never happened. This is the first time that something like this happened. So okay. Now, all right. So okay. So let's see what else. Oh, another thing that I want to check out is uh, the guy. Uh, what was his name? I don't remember. Um, the guy who is using the scouter to like you know. Just a second. okay um obviously the poltergeist uh like you know the quirk we know what that is it's like telekinesis in a little way and the other girl she can the rule like you know uh, her name is rule i think she uses her quirk to small like you know small and things and can like you know like deactivate it and then it goes back to its original size o okay twin impact the guy his name is nirengeki shoda um okay so the thing that he's doing is hero name mines work twin impact he can create a second impact at his discretion at any place he has already hit once okay his quirk is a bit confusing so that means like if something you know if something um like you know like i'm guessing his quirk acts like this like if he uses his quirk on some kind of object that object hits a place and comes back he can activate his quirk again for the object to go and hit that place again and come back again so that's why twin impact i'm guessing that's a very specific quirk you know okay so yeah that's a very specific specific quirk <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know like something came in my mind like imagine if a villain is running away you know like you take a stone or something like you know object use it, the quirk in it and throw it towards the villain it hits the villain's head hits hard the villain almost like you know kind of falls down but still manages to like you know <laughs> control himself take his balance but and starts running away the stone falls down and he activates his quirk and the stone bounces back and hits the villain again the villain is like you know never expected that and he he's unconscious after that like <laughs> it's a really specific quirk you know you can use it in a lot of ways like you can even also prank your friends like you know like for example <laughs> <laughs> like you know that that prank where there's like the teacher comes into the classroom and there's this thing on top of um <laughs> and the what do you call it uh the the door door frame it falls down on the teacher's head and imagine the teacher like you know takes that off gets annoyed and like starts kind of cleaning himself and he activates his work again and that thing comes and <laughs> hits his head again <laughs> i don't know why i'm thinking these kind of things but <laughs> <laughs> it can be used in a very like you know a lot of funny ways like i'm thinking about it now 
<laughs> oh my god anyways I'm, I'm going in a completely different direction all right um uh okay so that happened and after that uh okay we also get to see uraraka a little bit of uraraka's backstory like how she kind of felt bad for her mom and dad when like you know like she knew that they're kind of like you know hard working and for like you know like obviously their economic condition was not good like that's why uraraka wants to make money you know so <clears throat> that and like it's not that she wants to make money it's just that she wants to well, like you know watch people smile especially her, her mom and dad so like like her way of thinking is that okay like because like our like you know my mom and dad is working so hard for earning money uh so money is the problem so i need to become a hero so that i can earn money so that like you know my mom and dad can be uh like you know un like you know the burdens will lessen on them and they'll be smiling happy like her goal is to see what's like you know people smile as she said in this episode like uh like i loved seeing the people smile when uh, like you know we they saw the heroes doing their job and saving like you know uh, uh, saving people saving the neighborhood so yeah that's like you know that's her main goal like to see people smile and like then like the next thing that she says is really very you know um think that every one of us forgets not only like you know in this anime us as audiences also forget like who is going to make the hero smile you know like the hero makes everyone smile but when the hero is hurting who is going to make him or her smile like that's one thing that i think we as audiences also forget like i've seen a lot of instances where people kind of like you know bash the main characters just because he or she is not doing something that he should have done like i'm going to take an example here a different anime re zero when re zero came out a lot of people a lot of people started bashing subaru oh like like what's he even doing he's so stupid he's so annoying he's so cringy like you know like all of these stuff and like that's what actually happens we like we see animes for so like you know like we feel as if the main character would know everything they would be able to do anything like you know but we all always forget that the main character is also a human being they also have basic necessities they also have emotions like you know like something like that just because a hero is smiling doesn't mean that he him like you know he's smiling in uh like you know inside like a lot of things might happen like he might be sad at that moment something bad might have happened but still while saving people he needs to keep the smile because as they say you know like if a hero like frowns like everyone will get concerned about the situation so like all might's words this is all might's words that's why all might always like you know smiles so that no one is like you know afraid smile gives courage to people like that's a hero so like yeah that was what i was saying you know like what happens when the hero is hurting you know when he or she is unable to keep it in like we also have you know have this kind of expectations on all the main characters of any anime you know like we always forget that oh like this character this main character is also a human being and as i was saying like you know like i remember like people bashing subaru in rezero for the same reason but at that moment i'm sure that they have each and every one who was bashing were bashing subaru forgot the fact that this guy is a person who was a shut in in modern japan japan now coming into this world he's been dying for so like you know like so many reasons so instead of like you know like saying that oh you're so brave like you know instead of congratulating him for his bravery for his like you know for his guts they were like like trash talking him just because he like you know did not this do a certain thing or made a foolish decision just because of that like this is the thing like that like you know like it usually happens like we put the main character on such a pedestal that we always forget that oh he is also a, a normal guy just like us he also has has feelings but anyways that's something completely different <sighs> all right and then obviously then we see like the predecessor like he kind of gives the queer pep talk says that like it's good to be angry anger gives strength but at the same time keep a calm mind like you know control your power and you will be the strongest and 
Yeah, so I'm guessing like uh, bit by bit all of these new quirks are going to get activated within him and he needs to control them. And also we saw how Shinso completely like, you know, uh, kind of handled the situation. Like, like as he said, like he was really excited to fight him. So the, the thing that he really wanted to say, he told that like, you know, will you fight me? And Dex said, yes, like that was great. That was a great scene, you know, and yeah. And then like in the end, like all the plans go down the drain, <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like both the plans, like everyone starts kind of like, you know, brawling with each other, like using their quirks and all. It's like a full on fight. <laughs> and let's see what Deku do, does after this in the next episode. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 5 Episode number 10. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of My Hero Academia Season 5. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.